People are waiting for us to, to, to get beat tonight, I promise you that. Finds Ross Gleed here. Might have fancy a shot from here, Ross. He's hit it! It goes on the whole length of the pitch and we have to we have to find the ball. Tango six, going dark. Oh, I just got flinged in the face. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. I'm joined by Mr. Jamie Hurset, and we've got a top of the table clash already, mate. This is a big game, Spen, I'll be honest with you. Um, it's early on in the season, but nonetheless, uh, it's a good opportunity to send out a message to the league. Yep. Definitely. We're playing Hadley, if you hadn't told by the title already. Uh, we had two amazing games of them last season. Both finished 2-1. We beat them at home and they beat us at their place. Both teams on good streaks. Both of us won our FA Cup games as well. So they're through to the next round as well. So well done to Hadley for that. Um, how important is the result tonight? Well, I know what Devs would say. But what do you say as a player? If it doesn't go our way tonight, how, how big a blow would that be? Um, I think it's one of them games where if it doesn't go our way, we're definitely going to have to try and put it in the back of our mind and just think of getting points in the next games and, and forgetting about this one and going again when we eventually play them again. Um, and then on the flip side of that, if we get the, uh, the result here today, I think um, it shows a massive um, thing for the league and everyone's going to be thinking, wow, hashtag do actually mean business this year. Still a long season, so there's not really too much into it. Either way, we've got 90 massive minutes of football coming up, slightly shorter for you like you'll see in the highlights. Let's see what the boys have been up to before kickoff. <laughs> Yes, so obviously tonight we are going up against Hadley. If you remember last season, we played them. And I remember the one game that stuck with me, which was quite a tough game, was when we played them away. And uh, yeah, here's a clip. Edwards with a free kick for Hadley. Hits it! Oh, wow. Straight in for Hadley. And they have come back. And you have to wonder whether we've got time to get back in this, Seb. 2-1 down. That is exactly what I was worried about. The angle we were at, it looked like the goal was absolutely gaping over there. So I remember that game. And obviously at the weekend, they won 4-0 as well as we did. So, should be a bit of a good test tonight. Something that I also think you guys should be checking out is the new digital program that has come out. It's a change from the last few seasons that we've had, but it is so decent. Check the links down in the description and check it out. <sighs> See, I I'm upset, but I don't know how upset you are for not being in the squad video that came out recently. Hey, listen, I've already spoken with devs, yeah? I'm not happy still, but you know what? Just to make it clear, yeah? I'm trying to play as much as possible. I'm trying to play for the reserve still as well. Yep. Hopefully one day, if I can somehow be in two places at once, I'd love to play for the first team again. I ain't tried on the new kit or the the, the new away one. Imagine. I have not even. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not even a player, but we move. Before I cut you off, imagine, right, Stamps? Imagine being a part of a club since the beginning and like having a bit of a snippet of playing in a different country, getting injured and watching us win the league and do all this mad stuff. And me not even wear a shirt or play. It's peak, bro. It's peak. This is where we put the. the it hurts. Like stamps. When you're editing this, yeah, make it black and white, and then put some like rain or something there. Like. Wait, wait. Let me look sad as well. I do. Wait. Remember the first season. What is it? I used to come over to you and ask you. Stretch Fridays or something. Stretch, stretch game or something. And you used to tell me what stretch you're doing. Jeez, I'm telling you, man. If I didn't stretch, I'd be out of the game. So this is the key for me actually playing the whole season. Oh, Alfie, shut up, man. Look, Stampy's trying to control the ball with the camera. Oh, no. And the service is... And the top, that's going in the edit. He's just trying to put out me, so I went for that. Is he alright? Well, alright, go on then. Oh, my God. He's done it. One beat one. I'll tell you what, you lose the ball there. That's a foul. It's not a foul. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the match is about to start, but something that is quite interesting is that over on the other side, the side that you guys watch the games from, that way, um, if you're watching that way, we are losing a lot of balls every stamp it. We need to I think, go get them. I think we lost six in one game. So They're not me cheap. And Lou, yeah, me and Lou, we've got to go find them. We're going to go find them. Um, and yeah, basically, I think this is the football version of Narnia. Okay, so this is currently what we're dealing with. And we have to find how many balls? Six. Shut up. I think it's six. Six? Is this my life right now? <laughs> If I've got to do this again, yeah, ah. I'm going to start naming names here. Yeah. When I start seeing people booting balls, they can go I'm, get them. I'm naming and shaming them because, yo, this like, there's no way we can get over that. This is Look at it. This goes on the whole length of the pitch, and we have to we have to find the balls. It's a joke. 
Tango 6, going dark. It's, uh, it's a bit of a weird one around here, to be honest. Literally, this is all I'm looking at right now. Uh, I mean, there's probably all sorts of stuff in here. Oh, I just got flinged in the face. Oh, Okay, so you've found two balls that aren't ours, right? I can't show you the brands for obvious reasons, but can we call this a minor dub? I, I might keep so. this for myself, I'm not gonna lie. Did you go all the way down? Yeah, bro. Down that way then? Yeah, stinging that was in there. Mate, I, I got absolutely battered around here. It's, it's just like there's no route in. There's one place you can go like quite deep in, but I can... But no, but that's centralised. That's, that's one through, like through here. But then you can't go further on. I mean, shout out Tony, innit? Help his dad, gave me the gloves. I was able to move a massive branch out of the way, but there's nothing there. I think we're stuffed. Mission failed. We'll get next time. Really good Saturday. We were really good. But we had to carry that into tonight. And tonight will be a very different proposition for us. They've got an experienced back three, but it's not the quickest. They're quite narrow. They have like a, an almost a false nine that drops in behind the seven and he'll, he'll just go and pick up strange areas and that's where we've just got to be really good with our communication but i've got absolutely every confidence in us as a side and as a squad to really go at this this is the people who are waiting for us to to, to get beat tonight i promise you that All right this is an opportunity for us to go and stamp our authority on the opposition and that's not just tonight's opposition that's next week's and the week after that and the week after that 17 minutes be out there let's go come on okay nearly time for kickoff here let's have a look at hashtags team for the second league game of the season at home again we have jacko in goal again keeping his spot in between the sticks reese hewitt also keeps his spot at left back for Singano and simon peddy center back sam biles comes back in at right back who is unavailable on Saturday, or is rested really, because two games in 48 hours. Uh, in midfield, we have Ross Gleed, Chris Newby, and Jesse Waller Lassen. And ahead of them, we have Toby, who has started the season in fine form, two goals in two games. Another man that's got two goals in two games, George Smith, is up front. Albie Keith comes back in to the starting lineup, meaning the bench is Tim Pittman, Harry Honesty, Josh Asude, Tom Anderson, and Joe Gregory. And we are underway here for the second game in 48 hours for both sides. Hashtag versus Hadley, the third encounter, and they're always great encounters, is underway. Corner then, early in this first half. Jesse Wallalassen to take. Dinked in towards the near post, headed away. We've got an oncoming, oh, an oncoming Sam Biles there who swiped and missed. And now comes to Jesse, tries again, throw in. Now Hadley can look to send one long. Heady with a bouncing ball to deal with here. Afori gets his body in the way well. He's looking for a foul. And is he given it? So, Hadley free kick here on the right. Looking to be whipped in. In front of the goal. I think it's actually Bartram, the number three there for Hadley who headed it. But away from Hashtag's goal, luckily for us. Now look at Toby turning on the afterburners here down the left. It's a good first touch from Toby. And he cuts inside now. And it's a late tackle there. And that will be a free kick in almost the exact opposite scenario for Hashtag. That's uh, something that we have been working on in the training ground is breaking quick. With the pace that we have on our wings, that is exactly what we can do. And Toby's done excellent there. It's a great ball by Jesse. And uh, just use his pace against uh, much slower opponents. Jesse Wallace on the free kick here for hashtag. Lifts it in towards the far post. Oh, it's in! It's in! It's unbelievable from Jesse Wallace who scores directly from the free kick. But Jamie, did he mean to? I mean, I've, I've told him to put it in between the six yard space and he's just gone and put it top corner spin. Whether he's meant it or not, I'm not sure, but it was a great strike. It was a very relaxed celebration from Jesse, but I tell you what, what a goal and what a way to take the lead here against Hadley. 1 0 to hashtag compliments to Jesse Wallalassen. Free kick for Hadley then. Going to get whipped in across the box. Needs to be cleared. It's going to bounce over Peddy. It's a shot. It's full on Biles who clears it a second time. And now Jesse, can he start some sort of counter? He's got, he's asked a lot of Chris Newby here, but Newby's going to get there. Biles is chasing him up to try and give some backup option. Jesse's there as well. He finds Biles. Biles finds Ross Gleed here. Might have fancy a shot from here, Ross. He's hit it. Oh, and it's just wide of the post there. I mean, I've been talking about our pace out on the wings, but that was Chris Newby getting forward then. And he, he showed some pace himself. And a uh, great backup by Sam Bowles. And in the end, that shot could have gone in just wide. 
Albi wants it quick. And they're going to try and find him. And they will find him. Sam Biles offering backup. He's going to go on the overlap here. Biles cuts inside. That's, uh, that's Biles' run that's unlocked that opportunity for Albi there. I think Albi actually got a clip to his heels in the end. I'm not sure um, if that stumbled him a little bit. But uh, it was good play. Looking for Afori over the top here. He's got the pace. Petty's going to get across. Try and stand him up and stop the shot. Goes across the goal. And there was no one for Hadley there to receive it. But he is dangerous over the top, isn't he? Well, I think with Farai out the game just in that um, situation there, his pace has come into full effect. And uh, yeah, he is honestly so, so quick. Ball over to Edwards here. Edwards looking for a pass in behind to Bartram. He's got onside, beating the trap. Puts it across for Afori. It was a difficult one at an angle and he can't hit the target, but that's a let-off. Good opportunity for Hadley. Yeah, that was an absolutely fantastic ball from their midfielder, to be fair. Um, he's threaded it through Albi and Sam Biles and um, it was a good cross and it was actually unlucky to, to not get it on target in the end. And it's that man again that they're looking for um, and he, he nearly does nestle it into the top corner. Switch over to Sam Biles. Before he's there to put some pressure on, he's done well to get it off them. Now he's got some defending to do against this pacey striker. Before he finds Jupp, who turns. The player falling down for Hadley. There's a shot opportunity! And it's wide of the post. And that's another let-off after a, us trying to play, Jamie. The switch has not worked out. Right, Hadley getting forward now. Good pass into Anwar. 1-2 with his partner in the middle. Alfano has found room. An overhead kick attempt there. Potential high foot on that one as well, or no? Chance for Hadley looking to turn in the box. Needs to go. Farai's actually been fouled in the act of trying to tackle him, which Hadley thought was a penalty. In fact, it was a foul against Hashtag. Don't think we are going to see much more of Toby Aroma Laren tonight. Which he cannot continue his streak, although he did technically, depending on the way you look at it, get the assist for the goal because he won the free kick that, that Jesse scored. Yeah, I think that's a, probably one of the reasons why Toby does get tackled quite a lot and hurts himself because he gets himself in great positions and sometimes the only way to tackle him is to take him out. Looking for a big switch and he's maybe going to make it. Baird getting forward, reached in towards Anwar. Good header from Peddy though. Peddy's not happy. Late run coming in here on the edge. Hadley with the corner. Looking for the man on the edge. And it actually, I think, was going off target. But the shot, which I think was from O'Hara, actually found the foot of Afari, who was not going to miss from that angle. What was it? Two or three yards away. So it's one all, Jamie. Yes, that man we've been talking about, he's uh, always on the move. Very, very quick. And he was just alert to it. It's uh, ended up being a shot from uh, their player. And it's gone straight through to him. It's just happened in the end. Be careful, Eric. They're onside. Reese is trying to get back in the dominant position. Can be a long shot. Jacko will catch that one. And that is the break. So the goal was one of the last moves of the first half. Hashtag had the lead but have lost it to Hadley. So one or what the break? Our problem has come from, and it's ridiculous, but our problem has come from scoring a goal. They're as good a side as you're going to play in, in, in this league. But we are so much better than we're showing. So much better. We've been lethargic. We've kind of just let things happen. And we've sunk in, sunk in, which means we give away cheap free kicks. And cheap free kicks lead to dangerous deliveries. The boys got good delivery. We've seen that. We're too early to be hanging on to things. We're too early in the game. We're too early in the season. You want to play. You want to be good in possession. You want to express yourselves. Get yourselves up the pitch in areas where you can do it and you can make the difference. Go and, try and, go and try and win the game. Because we set out with intent to win the game, scored the goal, and that intent disappeared. It's, it's still there for you, but we've got to get it right. We're underway then in the second half. Hadley have got the spring in their step after scoring right before the break. And hashtag have got to do it all over again if they want to win this game at home. Gone short from the free kick. Over to the new right back for the second half. New B. George Smith on the touch. Trying to get the shot off. And uh, the big lad that is Anwar goes straight into George Smith. And George is on the floor right now. 
Yeah, them ones can hurt Spen. Uh, the player was coming down in it and George was coming up, so they uh, started hitting straight on your on the top of your foot. They can hurt. Stevie CB's given the signal. George Smith is also going to exit the game with an injury, which is worrying for this game, first and foremost, Jamie, but also, of course, for Sunday's FA Cup match. Ball's going to drop in here. Joe Gregory, and he looks lively when he comes on the pitch. I like his energy. Harry honestly trying to get this one. Does well to turn his man. Still Harry on the ball here. Maybe trying to get shot off. Oh, he had a pass on there for Jesse, but he didn't use it. And then Reese should come and get this, and he does. Finds Jesse Wallalassen. Jesse beats his man. Can he deliver here? Cuts it back for Hewitt. Trying to work it into the box. The young Joe Gregory on the ball. Lays it to Newby who hits it. Oh, what a save from the keeper, you have to say, because Newby hit that very well. Yeah, again, great build up play by the tags. Uh, it's come down the left side. Jesse's taking on his man. Uh, cut one back to Joe, which cuts it back again to Newby. An unbelievable strike and a save to match it. Joe Gregory very much involved in that move, as was Harry Honesty. So the subs have come on for the injured players. Looking lively. Here's Albie, who started the game, of course. She runs into O'Hara. Some defending to do here for hashtag Afori. Going to play it back to Marriott. Marriott's seen a big switch attempt here. Get away with it, I think. Looking for Jupp. Trying to hold this ball up and turn in the box. Does well, Jupp. Great chance for Hadley. Huge block by Farai. Second one. Goes in at the back post. After the initial block, we do concede. And that's going to hurt, especially as we came so close with Newby just moments ago. Yeah, uh, a big switch is coming to the box. And I think uh, Newby's actually tried to read it rather than just defend goal side. And he, he's got the wrong side of his man. He's managed to um, put a, just a, a cross in the box for a tap-in, really. Good block by Peds. But uh, on the follow-up, stops at bottom corner. That sees us 2-1 down. It's a great play out wide again from Afori. Trying to get a shot off. Goes against Peddy. It's going to be a corner for Hadley, who looked full of confidence. Yeah, they've certainly come out uh, of the break. The brighter team, uh, we do need to wake up a little bit, Spen, otherwise it could be a long night. Can't concede from this corner, else we'll be in a real spot of bother. Corner comes in for Hadley, into the side netting. That's a let off, let's go again, come on. Oh, it's a free header there, free ball. Biles does well though, Hewitt, looking for honesty now on the left. Harry, first real chance to see him with the ball at his feet since he came on. The tail end of the first half. Can he whip it in? Not a bad ball for Gregory! What a goal! And there it is! His first official goal for Hashtag United, assisted by Harry. The two substitutes linking up, but what a moment for the young Joe Gregory. Well, I said it's been the two that come on are more than capable of showing the good. I said Harry honestly has great assists and Joe has goals in him. And uh, they've just showed that exactly. And that's 2-2. Two -two. You've got to say, Joe Gregory, well done, son, because you come in after top top uh, goal scorer from last season has gone off injured, George Smith. He's a young lad, but well taken. His first opportunity of the game, and Harry's first real opportunity to run at them as well. Reese it into Jesse. Touch a little bit careless. We might get another go at it here. He's got Harry honestly just behind him. Is he going to try and do it on his own? Is Harry letting him know? He's got Reese it there as well. Finds Reese. Thought about the first time cross. Has a touch instead. It's a good ball again. It's not quite going to hit Gregory's head. Now Albi is going to go back to Newby. Who might also whip one back in. Looking for Gregory again. Edge of the box here. Sam Biles. Potential high foot maybe. Oh, good couple of chances there, Spen. Just needs someone to swing a foot at it. About 20 minutes left of the second half. Two apiece. Another tightly contested game between the two HA teams. Hadley and Hashtag. On the edge of the box there. Oh, he's going to get a second bite of the cherry. Maybe a third here. Needs to go. Needs to go. Right. Gleedy finds Harry Honesty. Can he get us up the pitch? Just a heavy touch from Harry. And a very confident back heel from Marriott there. Into the number 12. He's hit it. And that will be fine. That's low, wide and not at all handsome. Jacko then with a the kick. He's going to go around Joe Gregory. Headed away as far as... It's Sam Biles, he finds Joshua Sude on the right. Sude now. Up against Bartram. Sends him all the way back to Hadley. Oh, he's gone in! Yeah. How was that gone in that straight from Josh? Is that the cross? A Sude! Wait, did anyone get a touch on that? I don't think anyone got a touch. I think their players actually put it in in the end. 
Josh Asude once again off the bench, making the difference. Great bit of skill to beat Bartram. I'll be honest, I have no idea what happened after that cross. I just saw it hit the back of the net. I don't think it made it to Gregory. I mean, it looked like it took a deflection from the, uh, the left back where Josh uh, crossed it. And then it, I don't know what the hell happened in the box, but it's a goal spin. What a huge goal it could be. Top of the table clash here. Both teams winning 4-0 on Saturday. Hashtag come back from 2-1 down. It's now 3-2 to the tags. We've got about six minutes left of normal time. Ball in. Got to be dealt with! Oh my word. That's gone right across Jacko's goal from Afori. What happened there, Jamie? I mean, they've taken a quick free kick out wide and just put a, a hopeful ball in the box and we just all switched off. I think we was all looking at the uh, substitution they've just made and that man again, Afori, was in and he's just put it wide. Marriott looking to wind up the long throw in towards the box. Petty gets a massive head to it, as does Chris Newby. Now, can Asude get it under? Physical battle there. The bigger man comes out on top. And it's eventually a foul given against Hashtag there, really. Can't be long left as Hadley try and whip this free kick in to cause a problem. But Gleedy gets an important head away. Now we need to get rid. Gregory might actually go here and he finds Harry Honesty. And I think Honesty will make this. He does. Now, what do we do here, Jamie? Corners or keep going? If it's me, I'd love to go corners and just uh, and stay there. Of course, I wouldn't have had the pace to get to the ball first, <laughs> but it's fantastic Harry's, from Harry. Yeah, this is what we like. It's an absolute corner, mate. Absolute corner show. It's unbelievable from Harry and he wins the corner. Well done, Harry Honesty. I expect Jesse will go short on this one again. He does to Ross Gleed. He is going to look to keep it in this corner as long as he can. <laughs> he puts him on the floor and he wins the corner and he makes sure he knows about it. He can watch this. Watch this foul. Here comes the foul. It's just coming. You can see it a mile off. Might as well blow up, ref. I don't think they're going to get it off Gleedy in there. Gleedy gets it short again. Ref's looked at his watch. And he blows the final whistle. And make no mistake, that is a big win for Hashtag. It might be early in the season and Devs might not say it's big, but that is big. A top of the table clash and we come out on top. 1-0 up, 2-1 down, 3-2 winners. Jamie, you've got to be happy with that one. I'm actually ecstatic, I can't lie. Um, that's character, that's pure character. To go 1-0 up, then conceding at half-time just before the break. And then going 2-1 down to then come back 3-2 spin. Just unbelievable from the boys. Yeah, the whole front three changed. And all of them were involved in the goal. All three substitutions. Have you got a man of the match for me, Jamie? Uh, my man of the match today is going to be Jesse Waller lesson because Purely because his attacking defensive play was unbelievable. He was getting on the ball and his work rate was just absolutely fantastic. And he, it led from the front and it went all the way to the keeper. And uh, everyone just fed off of his energy. Okay, so Jamie's man of the match is Jesse. And it's a big win for the tags. Let's see what the guys are saying in the changing room. Because we go behind, all of a sudden, we become a different team. And we step up and we press. We did to them what they did to us in the first half. Again, absolute proof that we're a squad because the impact from the substitutes was fantastic. If I could, I'd start a campaign for 16 aside and probably even more with the squad we've got. And I can accept people being angry, I can accept people being disappointed, but I also need you to understand that that's what we're going to need to be successful. Because that's a really, really good three points, but it's all it is, and we're two games in. 32 to go. So, so, so much football to be played. And there's no point, you know, celebrating and enjoying tonight if we're not going to follow it up. Tonight's gone, and we move on to the next, next one. Well done, boys. Well done. Right, I'm here with Joshua Asude. Talk to me, how did you feel about the game? Well, fair play to Hadley. They came at us strong, um, gave us a good game. And yet again, to Dev's um, substitution, get me. Now, you're talking about substitutions. You came on, I wouldn't necessarily, is that an assist? I mean, I'm I guess, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think, I think you deserve it, to be fair. Um, talk to me, what was going through your head when you whipped that ball across the box? Um, I was just praying someone got their head on it and I guess I got lucky. And you've been playing with phenomenal confidence, uh, not only through pre-season, I've seen it myself, but also the start of the season, you started really well. Uh, how are you feeling overall about your game? Um, start again. Mm, start again. 
Well, um, there's put faith in me to just do what I'm doing and the players as well to back me and just play with confidence and that's what I've done. And yeah, man. And that is going to be that for today's video, guys. I'm, I'm having to sort of stand and sit on the railings because that game had it all, mate. Oh my God, let me just have a breather. But whilst I'm having a breather, this is where we're currently standing in the league. We are currently up there at the top. That is very decent, but also something that's very decent is that we are in the FA Cup again this Sunday. We're going against Felix though at home, four o'clock. Get yourself here, guys. Make sure you're keeping updated with all the socials, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff, and uh, get yourself to the game. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a big one. There should be a couple of faces here as well. I'm not going to name drop. Just make sure you're here. Make sure you're ready to see it. And also, don't get the hashtag. <laughs>